think for me the first incentive was the fact that Farooq ji is there in the film. And uh, I said, okay, now this should work, you know, because sometimes you want to work with an actor, but the script doesn't work. If I'm doing cinema, I don't do television. And if I'm doing television, I don't do cinema. I think two people who, according to me, uh, I can say this on record, are the best on television is Farooq ji's that show and Mr. Bachchan. I think that's it. <laughs> Talking about Club 60, what is it in the script that has really just appealed to most of you and uh, any scenes if you can possibly tell us that that are really interesting? Well, uh, for forward. one thing, what I liked and from the way we have been discussing with each other, that it is not exaggerating things, it's not inventing things, it's not fictionalizing things. These are real characters which incidentally Sanjay Saab knows in person. Yeah, I think South These Mumbai are, some exactly. Sanjay, some, some. And they're all people who are still alive, around and kicking. And what struck him most about them was that they are not willing to, uh, you know, make any concessions to age. They would rather live on their own terms and they are doing that. And that is what uh, the plot is about. And that is why when the couple that uh, is being played by Sarika ji and me, when they come into this new milieu, where they get taken in by this club, but at a very interesting and a very important turn of their own lives, this group comes into their life. And how they imbibe it, what they get from it, this little process of osmosis of what they give to the group, what get from the group is really what the story is all about. Your impressions, ma'am? No, it's strange, but you know, when I came to Bombay and I started working again, uh, I haven't told this to Farooq also. When I came, the, one of the first two scripts which came to me, one of them was supposed to be with him. Okay, okay, okay. I was telling you, remember Rajesh, that gentleman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that gentleman just disappeared. I don't know where he went. And this is like about 10 years back. So somewhere it is stuck in my head that we have to work together. So I think for me, the first incentive was the fact that Farooq ji is there in the film. And uh, I said, okay, now this should work, you know, because sometimes you want to work with an actor, but the script doesn't work. But in this, the script is very nice. And as he mentioned, no, it's a very possible and a very real script. They have not tried to make it too dramatic or uh, too emotional or to, you know, it's a very, it's what happens every day. And it's a very simple film. It's not shouting and saying that, you know, give me attention. And I like these kind of films somewhere, you know, it's like making Tahan in Kashmir. People thought that Kashmir is such a big issue. How can you make a film like Tahan? But that is the reality, you know. Children are born, they grow up. The three generations have grown up over there. And they are normal people. So sometimes these kind of films should be encouraged and not not done because they are not dramatic. Absolutely. Your favourite Farooq Shir film? Oh, most of his work is my favourite. Many names. Most of them. And especially I think his show was something I used to look yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, that is, you know, like, I think two people who, according to me, uh, I can say this on record, are the best on television. Is Farooq ji's that show and Mr. Bachchan. I think that's it. One to ten, these are the two guys. Amazing close as well. The, the, that the close was a area. superb, and it was his spirit, honestly. When you saw that show, I would make sure to watch it and not miss it because it was so it was so warm and it was so uh, it was so it was so good. There was a goodness in the show, which you brought, Mr. Sheikh. Because there was no script, so we used to chat and we used to faff and we used to gossip and we used to you know have a good time. When is it like uh, getting back to the television once again? Uh, if I'm doing cinema, I don't do television, and if I'm doing television, I don't do cinema. I am basically a very lazy person, and I don't. And this, I'm not saying with any degree of pride, I'm just saying it, that this is me. I don't like to work every day. So if you take up more work, and particularly television work, then it pays you like a, a, you know, a bag full, and it sucks in bottlefuls of your blood. Television is a very demanding medium. So if I'm doing cinema, as I'm doing now, I won't be doing television. If and when I do television, I'll stay off cinema for that period of time. Okay, and your favorite uh, Sarika oh, film, in fact? I mean, uh, Apart from Parzania. One, see, Parzania, then the Kashmir film that she spoke about, you will have noticed that she had hardly anything to speak in that film. And the images of her behind that fence, where she is looking with a picture in her hand, are sort of emblazoned in the mind of the viewer. When you want me to say enough about Sarika ji, you have to interview me when Sarika ji is not around. <laughs> so then I can do it without, you know, feeling overly embarrassed. But these are, these are performances that uh, nobody can forget when they have seen. Sure. If you have seen Parzania, and if you haven't, please uh, make it a point no, to see. Oh, good. You know the portion where she, she is describing the tragedy that she has had in a full frontal shot. And all the pain and all the agony of what people must have really experienced is right there in her eyes and on her face. And coincidentally, the couple that uh, lost their son, of which she is playing the wife, Ji. Ji. 
were people who have met me when who they go for every show of Pardanya, wherever it is held. So they met me, and I was speaking more and more to them to understand how you know traumatic that period and that incident must have been, and uh, not to take away anything from the tragedy, which is immense, and which of course over a period of time has. Uh, has tempered down their own emotional reaction. But I thought all of them was extracted to the fullest in that interview scene that uh, Sarika ji does when that inquiry uh, is being done. And uh, I cannot think of anybody who would have done that better. Your forthcoming film, sir? I do only one film at a time. One film at a time? So forthcoming film is Club 60. Club 60. And what about you, ma'am? Same here. That's about it. Yes. All right. So we have put together 120 now. 120? The two of us. <laughs> <laughs> Great, so uh, that was Farooq Sheikh and Sarika talking about their film uh, Club 60. Both of them, they're doing one film at a time. What is different about the film and they have uh, vehemently just, uh, stated the fact that it's the script that is the deciding factor. It has always been the script that has been the deciding factor. Many times it is uh, media created and uh, only uh, statements are made that uh, commercial and art. Uh, it's the script that is the hero at, and heroine at the end of the day. And uh, both of them are testimony to that. And they've also yeah. evocatively told about uh, each other's works. Sarika ji likes uh, Farooq Saab's uh, television work exceedingly. And um, Farooq Saab has uh, glowing things to say about Parzania, extraordinary performance in Parzania that she has done. Pleasure having you on Bollywood and Amma and uh, all the best wishes for Club 60 and Thank you. Uh, Thank you. whatever you do next after this. Thank you. Do see the film. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll we'll make sure the, it comes in the, the unit. good shows. <laughs> That's all from Bollywood and Amma. Keep on watching.